Hello everyone, welcome again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we're trying to see how to build a very simple natural language processing application with Streamlight, right? So the name of the app is going to be called NLPify with Streamlight. So now let's see how to build this particular stuff. But before then, let's explore what we builded. So first of all, if you come to the show tokens, I'm just pasting any text that I want to paste here. It's going to give me the tokens as well as the lima. So let's clear it off here. I'm just passing my test. So let's call it as Streamlight. It's so cool, right? Something like that. Great tool for creating faster ML apps, right? Something like that. So see what that is. Great, <laughs> great framework. Something like this. So if I if I want to tokenize this particular stuff, I can just go with analyze. Then it's going to tokenize it and then limitize it for us. So running test analyzer. Perfect. So this is going to be the result that it's going to give to us. So we have our tokens, right? And then our lima. So we see that the word for the lima for S is B. The lima for faster is fast, right? So it's able to analyze it, give us all the tokens as well as give us all the lima. Right. So that is the basic idea about the tokenization part so i can just go back to this and it's going to reduce it for us so perfect so now let's move on to the next aspect in case you want to also check for name entities just go to the name entities session show named entities then i can paste in a particular name entity so something like jack right works in us so if i click on extract it's going to extract all the entities inside this particular test for us perfect so running entity analyzer then giving us the result. So this is going to be the tokens. So Jack works in US. Then the entity is Jack is a person. Perfect. Then US is a geopolitical environment. Very, very interesting. So that is what we're building for this particular tutorial. So we have the ability to show named entities. Now let's check for sentiment analysis. So in case I want to check for sentiment analysis of a particular test, I can just come to this place, right? The show sentiment analysis. Then I can paste in a test here. So something like I hit. It's a lie, right? Anyway, I hate playing. Everybody likes playing. So if I click on I hate playing, I click on analyze. Let's analyze this particular I hate playing, then give us the result. So there's a polarity, right? So it is a negative polarity. And then the subjectivity is 0 0.9, which is very true. So that is the basic idea about that. You can also do test summarization by going to show test summarization. Then let's paste in a test. So I have a test here, which is about machine learning. So I'm just going to copy this entire test here and then we are going to analyze this particular test, right? So I'm just going to paste it here as we have. Then now if I paste it inside this particular option, I click on choose a particular summarizer, which we can have it as can have several forms of summarizers. You can have the Sumi summarizer, which is using the less run or the Jensen summarizer. So let's choose Jensen, then click on summarize. So using Jensen summarizer. Perfect. So this is a summary of the entire test. So data mining is a field of study within machine learning and it focuses on exploratory data analysis through unsupervised learning. That is the basic idea about the app you'll be trying to build. You can also go to the side menu, then check something about the particular app. So let's see how to build this particular app in this tutorial. So I'll be stopping it, then we'll start from scratch. So let's close it and then let's start everything from scratch. So is it? Perfect. So if I come back to my location here, there is nothing here, right? So I'm going to create a file called touch, then app.py. That's the name of the file, right? Perfect. So if I go back now, we have our file here. So let's open our terminal and then our browser. Perfect. So we have it here. So this will be doing all our work. So let's set up our place, our, look, our work area. So in case you have not subscribed, I want you to check the subscribe subscription and then subscribe and then click the notification button so that in case there's any update of any new video, you'll be able to get it. So now let's see what we bought it, right? So inside our, I'm going to open a folder where the file is itself, which is on your desktop here, right? This place. So that's where we are opening now. Perfect. So if I go to my app here, there's nothing here. So first of all, the most important thing is that you need to work or have Streamlight installed. So in case you don't have, you can just go straight to your browser and just go with pip install 
stream like that's in case you don't have it right but i already have it so we just move on straight away to it then you start with it so let me close all these things because it's disturbing us <laughs> so let's go back to here and then this one will go off don't need it and then here our browser right perfect so then let's start again so the most important thing that we're just going to go with import stream light as st that's the first important thing right then later on we're going to just create our nlp packages as well as our uh, as well as all the other packages that we need all the other packages right all the other packages that you will need so perfect so that is the basic idea so let's create a function call main and we're going to place in everything that we're doing here so everything we'll be doing will be inside this particular location so let's call it as nlp app rate streamlight right perfect now just going to run with the if main and then that is all you can do without the if main but let's make it functional right to make it quite interesting perfect so let's start working with it so i'm just going to give it a title so st dot title I'm going to give it the name which is going to be our nlp5 with streamlight that is it and then now let's run this particular stuff so i just go back to my location then to run it just going to go with stream light run then the name of the app right app.py so i'm going to open it in a particular local host of 8501 based on the available one so let me bring it down here Perfect. So that is open perfectly. So I just copy this particular stuff. So, so once we want to open our default browser, which is this one, but let's not use Mozilla. Let's go with Chrome. So I'll paste it here. Perfect. So it is running perfectly. I'm going to show this particular test there. So running. So NLP5 with Streamlight. Very, very simple, right? With just this little code. So you can also add a subheader. So subheader. To give us a description of the app so it's going to be our natural language processing on the go right something like that right so something very basic so the moment i just run it is going to rerun with r or the rerun and it's going to write it in natural language processing on the go very simple so perfect so now let's see the first step so there are some stuff we're going to do we're doing tokenization We'll be doing named entity extraction then also do sentiment analysis and then finally we'll be working on our summarization so test summarization that is the basic idea of what we're doing so far right so now let's see what is left so we're going to first of all go with our button so if st dot checkbox let's go to show tokens and then lima do something so first of all how are we going to receive stuff so if i save this one and then let's go with always run so that you'll be seeing the changes so that's an error right perfect so that is how it is an error so the reason they've given us an error is that we have something to work on which is going to be if that is the case then st dot sub header i'm going to give a simple header I'm going to be tokenized your test right something very simple right, so if i save it if i save it perfectly so that's what it's showing here so show tokens in lima if I click on it, it's going to show the sub header, right? Tokenize your test. Very interesting. Now, how do we receive input from the user, right? Because that is the most important aspect of this particular app. How do you receive input from the user? So the first thing is I'm going to just go with message. Then we're going to go with st dot test area, right? Then I'm going to enter something here. So enter your test. So this is going to be immutable you cannot change this one this is going to appear perfectly at the top but what you're going to change is this place so because i type here 
that is the basic idea about that so now with this we're able to receive that particular test right so if i go with set the string here so i can actually clear this and put in like hello then it's going to work right so that's how to receive user input right using this particular test area stuff so this is going to be immutable you can't change this one which is here you can't change it but this one is what you can change perfect now let's add some functionality to it so we're going to add a button so it's going to be if our st dot button is equal to let's go to analyze right analyze the test then if that is the case then do whatever you want to do so we'll be working on some other space we can just bring it out like st dot success then let's pass in a test there with this message dot title something like this if i save it now I see that if I click on the analyze here now, it's going to bring this particular test. Hello. Perfect. So that's how to receive input from the user from the front end and do something with it and then bring it out. Right? Perfect. So now let's add our main functionality of the app itself to it. That is the text summarization. So it's going to be this. So I'm just going to create that particular stuff. So we need to import our NLP packages. It's going to be between first of all spacey and then test block. So it's going to be import spacey. Right, to be in space to help us with that and we also need to create an nlp object so nlp object we need to create an nlp object but let's import test block too. so from test block import test block for our sentiment analysis right this is going to be used for our sentiment analysis now let's create our first function so this function is going to be for summarization so let's put a test anal analysis right analyzer then we're going to pass in our particular document so docs whatever test that you want to put there or let's make it my test my test then i'll pass in i'll create an nlp object so nlp go to spacey dot load en right so i'm using spacey to do our tokenization and our lemmatization then we're just going to go with tokens. So if I go with tokens like this, you can just put it in the normal format. So in space, if you just get tokens, you can do like for token in our docs, whatever docs are coming, docs. Then you just go with, let's say, print our token.test, right? That is how to do tokenization in spacey. So first of all, let's create an, a docs. And then create an NLP object around our my test. Perfect. So that's what we do, but we don't need this one. We need it in a list format, like list comprehension. So let's try it and put this one inside the list comprehension and then use it. So it's going to be like this token dot test for token in our docs. Perfect. So that's the basic idea. Then we need to retain with our tokens. That's how to get tokens, right? Perfect. So let's apply this stuff here. So we just be applying it here. If I go back, let's go to NLP result. Let's go to our test analyzer. Then we pass in our message. Right, so it's going to analyze it and then it's going to give us our result inside our success button. It's going to be NLP results. If I save it now, you see that our test is here so i can just paste in a test so let's call it as mm, jesse loves coding right something like that everybody loves coding so if i click on analyze we need to analyze it they give us the result so running so jesse loves coding so this is a test for it right this is a result that has given to us that's how to tokenize the test now let's make it more elaborate so of tokens let's add limits to it so i'm just going to call it all data which is going to be both the both the tokens and then the lima right so it's going to be token using format strength to dot format right so let's go with this particular option it's going to be our tokens right going to have one for tokens then let's go with this option of backslash n for a space and 
and we're going to give it some lima so lima see what i did <laughs> let me expand it so that you can see it well so it's going to be lima right then this goes with this perfect so we are done with our limits and our tokens right perfect so we are done with this now let's pass in our test here so to pass in our test is going to be our token dot test and then our token dot lima underscore then for token in our docs right so that is the basic idea about this particular that we are doing here so now we don't need this it's supposed to be a list comprehension then back here i'm going to paste in our list comprehension here right so no need of this perfect so now we have it in a simple way so that is one way of doing it so we can just go with this particular option or we can just put the entire stuff here that we have so this and then this we can put another one here perfect right now let's return our whole data so let's save it perfect. now let's run it again so the same that we had right this is last coding so we want to try and analyze it so if i click on analyze take some time to run perfect so that it's giving us our tokens which is jesse the lima is jesse love is love love is love coding is good right it's very interesting so that is very nice but it's to be very it would be better if you make it as json instead of just this success stuff so let's change this one from this to json right so that it looks cool with json if i go with this now it's no more going to come as this particular stuff it's going to come in the format of json if i click on analyze we to analyze it and then give us in a format of a json which is very nice and which is what we want perfect so now that is very nice so token jesse lima jesse token for loves is love and then token for coding is good very interesting and very simple now let's move on to the next step. so we are done with the tokenization aspect now let's move on to the aspect of entity extraction so it's going to be the same thing that we had here so let's let me copy this one because it's the same thing that we're using right and then now we're going to go from show name entities right named entities then we're just going to go with extract entities entities from from test right from your test then you can just enter your test here type here then here we're just going to change it from this to extract perfect right so instead of creating test analyzer now we'll be using entity analyzer so let's go back here then do the same thing that we had here to create our name entity function so let's paste it here and then change it because it's the same methodology so entity analyzer same stuff you are doing here but this we don't need this one right that is how to do entities right so it, it's going to be no more tokens and then no more this let's go off with this and then let's start so we can place in entities like this so entities then create a list comprehension for our entities which is going to be the format that we want so it can be this so entity Enti <laughs> i can't spell this is going to be a list comprehension it's going to be entity dot test then entity dot lima dot label not lima <laughs> label with the back or underscore right this is how to do to get the actual stuff there right then just going to go with for entity in our docs that is dot ents so that's how to work with it so just going to return this entities perfect so if i save it now and I come back to our location here then instead of test analyzer now it's going to be entity analyzer so I save it now you can just try it and see so it's refreshing so let's hide this one and let's put in an name entity here so something like this so Python was created by 
what is his name? I've forgotten. <laughs> Good, right? Something like that. <laughs> and then let's put in something. So let's say he works in UK, right? United Kingdom, something like that. So if I go with extract, I'm going to analyze it and extract all the entities from our test for us. Because we see that now Python is an organization. I never know Python is an organization. <laughs> Good is a person. Wow. And then if you come to this place, UK is a geopolitical environment. Very, very interesting. So we have them to know how to extract all the entities from this particular stuff. Very interesting and very nice. Can even make it more complicated by adding the type of tokens, the particular name, and all, all of this stuff there. Okay, perfect. So that is the basic idea about this particular stuff. So let's add the tokens to it so that you see the actual tokens. So I'm just going to pass the tokens here. Then I'll just create another one for all of them. This one has all data, which is going to be simple stuff. Right? Then tokens. To give us all the tokens of our particular test, then we're going to also give our name entity. It's going to be our entities. Then this particular format. Perfect. Dot format. You can also use F string if you want. Then we pass in our tokens and then our entities. Right. Perfect. So we're going to retain our all data. Perfect. So if I go back to this same play that we have, and I click on extract, now it's not only going to give us only just the tokens, but it's also going to give us the entities as well. Okay, so now we have our tokens. So Python was created by Kudo. We need the tokens. Then the entity is going to be Python, which is an organization. Kudo is a person, and UK is a geopolitical environment. Very, very interesting and very simple. Now let's move on to the next aspect of working on a sentiment analysis. Right. So just going to create the same thing so if our st dot check check boss is equal to our sentiment analysis so show sentiment analysis right it's going to give us the same stuff then st dot let me copy the same thing because it's the same the same idea to save time i don't know whether the audio is okay now okay so i'm going to do analyze the test so sentiment of your test right so let me do your test let's expand it here now you tell your test everything is working so here is going to be analyze so analyze some people spell it as some people spell it as z so perfect so we need to create this function but we will not be creating any function here we just go straight away with wait test blob so it's going to be our blob it's going to be our test blob that we imported from above then going to pass in our message perfect now we can just from here we can just put on and do our sentiment analysis which is going to be let's call this result and let's call sentiment it's equal to blob dot whatever thing we need to do dot sentiment so that is how to do sentiment analysis. So if I go with dot sentiment, I can now bring this result here. It's supposed to be small letter. I can now bring at st dot success. Then I'll put in my result sentiment. There. So I save it now. So it's going to show sentiment analysis. So sentiment of your test. I'll paste in my test here. Mm. He loves reading and eating banana. <laughs> right? So if I click on analyze test, it's going to analyze it for us. Hope it doesn't give us a bad analysis. If the polarity is zero, so this is zero. So I don't know, it was maybe to analyze it well. But we can use something different. So let's use something different. Something like he eats apples. No, not he eats. It's going to be letter is going to also going to be neutral. So he loves apple, right? Something like that. Everybody loves apple. 
So I click on analyze. I hope it gives us a better sentiment. So let's analyze it. It's still giving us a T of zero. So like that is how it is. So we can actually give something different. So he dislike very strong way is it? Banana, something like that. So let's analyze it. So the reason it's giving us zero zero is that we have to refresh it. So let's copy this one, then refresh it with rerun. So it's going to start everything from scratch. So we're just going to go back to our show sentiment analysis option, right? Then let's start with this. So I have to find the means of an analyze. <laughs> Perfect, it's still giving us something. But that's the basic idea about trying to work with sentiment analysis, right? So we just have to work on this particular option. That's the basic idea. Okay, now let's move on to the next aspect of doing test summarization. So for test summarization, it's going to be if, it, st dot checkbox so let me copy the same thing because the same thing we have been doing so i'll copy this one for the test summarization right so that is a basic idea so show test summarization bring it up and then here we're just going to go with summarize the test so summarize your test perfect so this is going to be summarized perfect. so we will not be using blob we will not be using these ones now that is something very basic right perfect so we have to give an option because there are several summarizers so we'll be given an option and then let's try and bring the option at the top of our test right before the button so it's going to be our summary options we're going to be st dot select we are using select now select boss then we're going to pass in choose your summarizer then we're going to pass in a list or a tuple so let's use a tuple which is going to be for jensen using jensen then also use sumi right or sami i don't know whether this one yeah i think it's like this <laughs> okay perfect so that is the basic idea now let's move on to the next option so it's going to be if our summary option is equal to jensen then do some stuff right so st dot test go to using jensen so perfect if i go with this i'm going to show here so let's hide the banana that it could not analyze <laughs> then let's go with show test summarizer so these are tests here so i can actually paste in a test there so any test let's put in hello <laughs> see how i spell it so if i click on summarize so it's going to show us that using test using jensen right Perfect. that is the basic idea so now we have to create functions for this jensen and then for all of these things so how do we do that so let's try it and see so let me expand it right so let's see how to do that so i'm just going to the top of my file right and i'm going to import jensen so it's going to be from jensen dot summarization summarization Input summarize. Right, that is the one for to help us with the summarization for Jensen. So we're now just going to pass it here as the particular test. So let's go to summary result. Let's go to our summarize summarize function from Jensen. Then we're going to pass in our test with this message. If it's going to print that result for us, then let's go with the next option that else if summary options is equal to sumi i don't know whether sumi is spelled one m but i think it's correct then let's do the same thing as we have here let me bring it up so using sumi 
or Sami. <laughs> Using Sami, then we bring our summarizer here, right? So let's try and create that particular function. So I'm just going to go to the top of my file. Then here, I will just create a function to do our summarization. So let's import, we're going to be importing our Sumi packages. Sumi packages. So let's import them. So it's going to be from Sumi. That is in case to have parser. Dot plain test, right? Import plain test parser. So plain test parser. To which is going to help us to do our pass parsing. Then you can go it from our Sumi or Sami. Sami dot NLP dot tokenize tokenizes import our token nice. I'm going to import our tokenizer to do our tokenization. Then finally we can just go with our Sumi from Sumi dot summarizer summarizes dot less run so we are using less run there are other ones you can also use import you can use lsa lsa and then several of them imports our less rank summarizer so less rank so it's a very famous extractive analyzer okay perfect. so that's the basic idea so let's create a function to do that so let's go to our summary function it's going to be def which, which is going to be the fu function to do our summary so sumi summarizer then you pass in our docs a document then we can just work on it so it's going to be parser we're going to create a parser with our plain test parser dot form then you'll be tokenizing it from string because it's receiving it from a string not from a test file then i'm going to pass in my docs right the ones i'm receiving from it from the person then i'm also going to pass in my tokenizer which is going to be english my english tokenizer so you can they have some support for french and then the rest perfect so the next thing we need is that we also need to create our initialize our list summarizer it's going to be our list rank summarizer we are initializing it then we're just going to create our summary it's going to be our list summarizer we pass it around our parser variable so parser dot document then just set a value of three right so that's the basic idea about the summary now we have gotten our summary so it's going to come as in the format of a list so we need to just create a summary list comprehension then it's going to be our str for our string then let's go to sentence so for sentence in our summary for sentence in summary it's going to be a list comprehension that's all then let's return it so we can return it together by joining them which is going to be our join summary list so you'll be joining our summary list together then we're going to return this our result so perfect wow that is the basic idea about creating a summary sumi summarizer we are just going to import plain test from string because we are using string then we're going to tokenize it with english then we're going to use less ranga summarize it and then bring the result out perfect so let's apply that particular function here so instead of it being here it's going to be our sami sumi summarizer <laughs> how do you pronounce it <laughs> okay sumi summarizer then our message right perfect so that is the basic idea about it so we have named to create our sumi summarizer as well as our as well as the rest so let's go with an else as in case there's nothing then i want you to just go with string dot warning warning so we're using default summarizer and st dot test so it's default from other is using 
just directly the full summarizer then it's just going to bring our summary result summary result just like we have here i'm just going to bring the same thing to save time and how do you bring our result out so if you bring our result here it's not going to work for us so we have to just bring it outside our if condition right to our first if then let's go with st dot success i'm going to pass in our summary result so that it applies for all of them but that's the basic idea about it right so that is all that you have done so far let's try it and see so we have it let me go off with this so that it becomes cleaner this one goes off and then we move on to our summary so i can just paste in a test here so let's go back to our favorite test that we were using previously which is our machine learning test so i'll copy from here then i'm going to paste it here that's in it so i paste it inside my summarize test then i can choose a particular summarizer so let's use sumi then let's click on summarize that's going to run and then give us the result right so that is just go back again i'll come here paste in my test and see why i'm going to paste it <laughs> okay let's go back so just going to go to here i'm going to paste in my test then i'll choose a summarizer which is sumi you can choose sumi then i can just click on summarize so using Sumi, so that is so did a summary of it, right? So it is, it is seen as a subset of artificial intelligence. Very, very interesting. So now we can also go back again to the same place. Let me reopen it and go back. Then here we can just paste in the same stuff we had and check for the summary summarization using Jensen, the default. Then let's click on summarize. So using Jensen so the Jensen one is very very cute in my name that is the basic idea about how to add summarization test analysis with an unnamed entity extraction as well as sentiment analysis to your nlp package with streamline now let's see the last thing we can do so the last thing we're doing that we're trying to build a sidebar right so let's go back to here so the same location that we have we're going to build a sidebar so it's going to be something very interesting about the app so st dot side bar dot subheader then going to pass in something like about about the app right so about the app <laughs> then st dot side bar dot test i'm going to pass in my name of the test with nlp5 app rate stream light so the final thing is that let's give something interesting to sidebar that info then kudos to the stream light team see what i how i spell stream light <laughs> it's a great work they have done okay so if i go back now with the sidebar I'm going to run it now so that has shown this particular stuff here so if i click on it i'm going to show my about which is about here nlp5 then kudos to the streamlight team so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution so sidebar dot subheader thanks for watching right thanks for your time so in case you have any question or contribution can just put inside the comment section below and also check the link below for some interesting materials to enable you to master python as well as the, the website for some interesting stuff so the basic idea about all this app is that you're just going to import streamlight right perfect and then you're just going to import our packages our spacey test blob jensen and then sumi or sami test summarizer then you're just going to create a function a simple function you can also put str string that cache in front of them if you want and then entity can also put this string dot cache so st dot cache to improve the performance right you can also do that also in case you want perfect and then 
just go to create our main function so inside our main function we just have our title which is referring to this title we're going to create check checkbox which is for this individual checkbox that you have here in which you can place in whatever test you want to place there then we have inside our test box we're just going to click on the analyze to use this particular option right the test area to create a place that you can type in whatever you want to type right that is the most important thing. so whatever you're going to type there you can just type it there then store inside a variable put inside your database in case you want to put you have a database and do your analysis on it then return the result back right with either string or json or string success or any of them so the same we did for the name entity the same we did for the sentiment analysis and then the same for our test summarizer with the select option so thank you for watching this tutorial and see you at the top stay blessed